Tammy Beilstein. Welcome to Tammy's Window on Calaveras. Today I have with me a magician. His name is Cody Ebert, and he was born and raised right here in Calaveras County. And sorry, young man, I don't mean to embarrass you, but ladies, he has the most beautiful eyes and eyelashes ever. Why, thank you. <laughs> They're gorgeous. <laughs> So I am so happy you are with me. Thank you very much. Oh, Glad to be here. You brought some tricks. Uh, of course, we're going to want to get yes, to all of, of that. Course. But I want to hear a little about you. Tell me uh, where you lived, how old you are, where you went to school, all of that. Well, I uh, live in Glencoe, born and raised. Uh -huh. uh, still live there to this day. Um, I'm 20 now. I went to uh, went to high school at Calaveras County. Um, uh -huh. Calaveras, Calaveras High, High yeah. and um, also went to Gold Strike. Uh -huh. uh, I went to Calaveras for only a year and then went to Gold Strike for uh, two more years. Yeah, both good schools. Yeah, yeah. great schools. Gold Strike really helped me kind of like break out of my shell and you know keep yeah. doing magic and that's what was, uh, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I know it's a and tad off subject but I do like what mm -hmm. you just said about Gold Strike. It's for oh, yeah. more for kids who are very bright, but maybe this being in a big classroom with exactly. learning out of books all the time, it's kind of a different twist on, it on learning. I, I love it there. I'm a big fan. Yeah, it's really yeah. great. The one-on-one -on -one is really, uh, I really, really yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah, Calvers, yeah. it was, like you said, yeah, the big, big classrooms who weren't able to really focus on one person at a time. Right, but which works strike, for a yeah. lot of people. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. some of you guys, you're really, you're really creative, mm -hmm. smart guys. I think Thank <laughs> you. Uh, the other school works, works great for you. Yeah, really, really really great. So um, did they introduce you to magic or had you always liked it? I had always liked it. I was actually five years old when I uh, first really got into magic. I saw David Copperfield on TV uh -huh. performing uh -huh. and I was just like, oh, this is so cool. Yeah. And then went to uh, actually the local drugstore and picked up a little magic kit and kept practicing on from there and got to where I am today. How so, cool. Yeah, 15 years of uh, doing magic. I've been doing it professionally for about six now. Have you really? Yes. Yeah. You're so young to yeah. have that experience. That's really neat. Yeah. What kind of passion. places do you go to do your magic? Um, I go pretty much anywhere. Uh, street fairs, uh, birthday parties. Uh, oh, some... yeah, that'd be fun. Oh, yeah. The kids love it. Mm -hmm. And like corporate events. Um, mm -hmm. I've done some benefit like the uh, cancer runs. Perfect. And um, one of the more recent one was Run for Asphyxia or Praxia. I'm not sure which way, uh, how to pronounce that uh, exactly. Uh -huh. But um, uh, certain, just pretty much wherever anybody needs me. Yeah. Well, what do you and, What do you prefer doing magic with a small little audience, one on one, close up, or do you like being on the stage with a, a big I, group of people? I really do like the big stage. I, I love, you know, I, I've never had stage fright. That was one thing that really Very helped cool. me with yeah. uh, my magic. Is I could always get up on stage and perform no problem. I uh -huh. mean, my parents would be terrified. They'd be down yeah. there sweating, just, oh my God, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 worrying right. that I'm going to mess up. But it uh -huh. always, you know, seemed to turn out okay. Yeah. But I also really do love performing close up, like table hopping, um, one on one's totally fine on stage. Mm -hmm. uh, just as long as I'm doing magic, I feel feel comfortable. That is really so. How does someone learn new magic tricks? Do you guys come up with them on your own, and you keep working it till it works, or? Do you share ideas with, are you friends with a lot of other magicians? Um, I, yeah, I actually just recently got uh, into this um, group called the El, uh, uh, El Dorado Magic Club. And mm -hmm. they're, uh, like, there we share ideas. But some ideas are made up. Uh, some ideas, like, we go online and mm -hmm. get them. Or, um, you know, we do, like, seminars. There's lectures for magicians. Oh, OK. And, yeah, there's uh, multiple different ways, online, TV, DVD, books. Uh, I started out in just reading books yeah. on how to do magic. Isn't that funny? I I've never really done magic, so it's like a whole different yeah. world that you guys <laughs> Yeah. I, I didn't know anything yeah. about this. Yeah, it's a totally yeah. different society. We've, it's, it's, yeah, a real secretive society, but it's... Um, it's really fun. It's all all in good fun. Do you have to show some kind of credential or something to get into those magic circles so that there they know is it's some. not? There is some. Yeah. What's that guy who was doing a show on television for a while? He, I think he wore all black. Oh and he yeah, just, the mass magician. Yeah, when he would tell the the yes. clues on or um, solve the tricks. Yeah, magic yeah. biggest secrets. Yes. Yes. That, that one. Yeah, I don't like know if that's still on air. you want to keep that guy air. out of there, right? So. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. To be honest, you know, uh, the, the irony with that is I learned a lot of my tricks from that show when I was okay, younger. Okay, yeah. But now it's kind of like, 
okay, now you're revealing what yeah, we do. And it's like, it. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it kind of makes that difficult. Oh. But, but it's still, I, I mean, it's okay not to, it's some of the stuff that they reveal on there is yeah. more the simple sort of stuff. Okay. And yeah, we, we come up, I mean, we can come up with pretty much anything. Uh, yeah. yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm looking at the table right now. You have a variety of yes, <laughs> yeah. That you can do tricks with. Hey. Yeah, just odd variety. Cards yeah. is probably the most uh, familiar thing on this table. Yeah, and just so you know, I have this pad of paper and a pen here because I had a magician on once before. Oh, Only really? once. It was a long time ago, and um, I don't trust myself anymore <laughs> because he was doing a card trick. Mm -hmm. He wanted me to pull the the card and remember it. I pull the cart, and people can't see what goes on behind the cameras here, but someone had walked behind a camera to show me something or give me some sort of signal, and I'm like, yeah, and I put the card back. And he okay. does this, this awesome trick, and he pulls out the card and says, is this your card? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, that, that. And I felt horrible. So <laughs> I'm okay. going to cheat, and if we do a that card trick, good. I'm going to make a little note to myself. Okay, yeah, and just hold it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, just, don't let me see it, don't let me see it. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. I felt so bad for the guy. Yeah. Oh. What it happens, happens when you do a trick and it doesn't work? Do you play it off, or do you start I, it over from the beginning and do it again? I will. I usually play it off. I mean, it's a funny story. That's really what uh, was the most difficult part to break through in my magic is actually, yeah. you know, when I mess up, not to just say, ah, uh, shoot, and yeah. just stop doing it. Then, you know, now if I mess up, it's just like, oh, oh yeah, no, that's part of it. And yeah. you just play it off, you know, yeah. you can even, sometimes we call them happy accidents, and it even goes into an even more amazing trick than oh, it would have been cool. before. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's great. Yeah. yeah. So who's your favorite audience? Little kids or adults um, who are a little uh, more aware of what's happening? I, I prefer Except for the me, but yeah. Yeah, regular adults. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I prefer uh, I prefer yeah. the adult audiences definitely. Yeah. Um, like for like corporate gigs and stuff like that, mm -hmm. they really enjoy it. Um, even the teenagers, you know, they say, "Oh, they don't like it," but you go up to them, yeah. you show them a little something, they're like, "Okay, you're awesome." Oh so yeah. Awesome. Everybody likes yeah. it. You could do this just having dinner in a restaurant. Oh, yeah, exactly. Anytime. Yeah, see a anytime. cute bunch of girls or something. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's well, how you do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it worked for me, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's really neat. That's neat. So is this Thanks. something you want to do? For, is there like, um, I mean, besides the people that work maybe in Vegas or something, mm. is it something you could make a real career out of and just do this full time? Oh, yeah. I mean, I do this uh, currently full time. You do? Uh, I am okay. a full time magician. Um, neat. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's how I make my living. Uh, but I don't like Sam. The the uh, if I can think of it, the goal for most magicians is to be in Vegas. But mm -hmm. that's not really where I want to be. I want to mm -hmm. be a traveling magician. Uh, I, I really enjoy traveling, so right? I'd love to be able to travel to different countries and perform. Oh, that would be neat. And yeah, that's that's my true dream. That's where I really want to take this. That is a that's a good idea. Do you ever use um, oh what is it the the assistant? Do you have assistant or is everything it's all on you? Everything is actually all on me. Yeah. I uh, don't have any roadies. I guess you would call it. Uh, my parents are kind of my roadies <laughs> if, when I do yeah. a show. They bring my stuff in, but. I'm my DJ, my lights, my sound, um, everything, and my assistant. You do all of it? Yeah, it's all, all on me uh, completely. And the only assistant is when I pull someone up from, yeah. like, on stage, pick a card, uh, check this out. or. Wow. So you have to have knowledge in a lot of different areas. Yes. Then. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And be confident enough in yourself exactly. to know Exactly, yeah. And <laughs> know that you're right. not going to totally mess everything yeah. up. So because yeah. so, you have to have your mind totally focused on what you're doing. Yeah. You can't be thinking, oh, gosh, I hope I put the right soundtrack in or exactly whatever for your yeah. Show. yeah yeah you gotta pre-hand really yeah sound is is a really key yeah. to magic and i really like focus on getting that done right before a show check yeah. it twice three times oh i yeah. love that you have just a what is the word not alternative but um your your profession i mean it's, yeah. it's different <laughs> and it's fun and i think it'd be really neat if you went Back to Gold Strike or, or those oh, schools yeah. like that to show these guys. Yeah, and, definitely. I mean, I didn't say guys, as in guys <laughs> and girls, to show these kids that the kinds of things they can do with yeah. their, their brilliant minds that yeah. they have. Yeah, That's I've gone really back neat. once. I mean, it was still some of the people that I went to school uh, mm -hmm. school with, but um, I have gone back once before and did a little magic for them. You know, just kind of hung out with the people, yeah. hung out on the campus, and 
did tricks for everybody. It was really great. I really bet. Great. That yeah. is really fun. So, um, let's see, I don't want to get too far and forget this. If mm -hmm. someone wants to hire you yes. for an event, do you have a mm -hmm. Facebook page or a website? I or? do have a Facebook page. Um, it would just be The Magic Man. Okay. And um, or they can you know they can even friend me on Facebook. I'm uh -huh. I'm, I'm friendly. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. So yeah, um, yeah, uh -huh. Cody Ebert. And, you know, it's pretty much just me standing yeah, there like yeah. that, hat and glasses. <laughs> so um, and that's C O D Y E B E R T. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they can look that up and. Uh, yeah, you pretty much know it's me. It's all magic on there. Okay. Um, but also, uh, calling me is great. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the best way to get a hold of me on my cell. Okay. And call 209-304-0881. Uh, Perfect. And, yeah, and that's how you can, those two ways you can get a hold of me. Email, possibly. I mean, I don't really check email too much. Okay. But uh, magicman at volcano.net. Okay. All lowercase. All our case. Yeah. good. So those are a few ways to get a hold of me, but I'd suggest definitely calling or Facebook. I'm always on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. <laughs> Who isn't? Yeah. I know, right? right? That's because we're cool. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> Do you have any events coming up around here anytime soon where um, we can catch you? Not really around here. I'm doing a private party in Plymouth this weekend. Um, but no, not really any upcoming events that I know of. And you were saying that, you just came from think. Sacramento, right? Yes. What was that? Yeah, that was, I, I can't even express how amazing that weekend was. I would yeah. have to say easily the best weekend I've had. Really? Yes. I got to um, perform and work with world-class magicians. One guy, uh, Wayne Houchin, uh, some people may know him. He's on a Discovery Channel show okay. called Breaking Magic. Hmm. And seen by hundreds of millions of people. Yeah. And guy, total backcountry guy, grew up in Chico. Really nice really? guy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was actually his wife's partner backstage. We were doing all the backstage work for all the magicians, yeah. lighting, uh, you know, getting all the props set up and, oh, and all that. And then finally, I got to actually perform. It wasn't originally set, but uh, J. Scott Berry, who put it on, special thanks to J. Scott Berry. It was a huge wow. huge effort in his part to put this out that's cool but yeah it um it was really amazing i got to go out perform my fork trick which uh we'll see on here okay and that uh i showed his brother and you know his brother growing up seeing him do magic his entire life and jay scott uh, berry is like up there with david copperfield and really? popularity and skill this this Very guy cool. is unbelievable and i showed him my fork trick and just blew him away and his brother was just like Okay, I have no clue how you did that. I grew up with a magician my entire <laughs> life. No clue how you did that, and no offense to anybody else here, but that was the best dang thing I've seen all week. And That's I was just like, up, 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 awesome. up, up, uh, thank you so much. Oh, and man. And it was, yeah, it was a great feeling. So I got to go out on stage, announced as a special guest uh, performer, oh. the very last show that we had. And did it was anybody just film that? Uh, yes, a friend of mine did film it. I'll Good. be getting the yeah, hopefully getting the footage here soon. He filmed a bit of it. Oh, and how some exciting! Pictures. Unfortunately, my whole face was whitewashed out because of the lighting. Oh, but that's because but you yeah. weren't in charge of the lighting. Exactly. That's why. Yes. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was kind of just last minute. Like you're gonna perform. Okay, how are we gonna do your yeah. lighting? Uh, I'm wearing red and black. Yeah. Work with that. Yeah. And holding a fork. So oh. yeah. What was the, but, the most incredible thing you learned from the weekend? Something you had no um, idea went on and that, that you learned? Honestly, uh, let's see. Well, one thing, like, I didn't know how really normal the other magicians were. Yeah? Yeah, just hanging out with them backstage. Um, really learned, got, a more, got a lot more confidence from it. Uh, yeah. Just count, I learned more things that I could say, honestly, there. It, it was just a really, That's really neat. great experience. And did they have they, stuff that you could buy, like, because um, yeah. uh, I'm, these all look normal, like normal things to oh, me, yeah, but definitely. I know there are um, trick things, I mean, yeah, of definitely. course, and, and I guess you'd find those things online on eBay or whatever. Yeah, but, you could. But is that what else they do? There? Yeah, the, we, um, at the lectures, uh, ma the magicians will sell their material that they thought up, uh, okay. set lecture notes and stuff like that. Oh. So. Yeah, any uh, young ma aspiring magicians, definitely I would say to uh, check out any magic lecture that you can find. Okay. And that, that's a great way to start. I, not how I started, but 
learn like mm -hmm. going to the lectures no it's it's a yeah. great way to start but you started as a baby you couldn't have exactly gone yeah <laughs> yeah <that> exactly <laughs> your little high chair yeah <laughs> <All right, everybody. laughs> were exactly. you like the youngest person there i yeah pretty yeah. much still am no matter where i go it's right. always like yeah i'm usually the uh the youngest person in the crowd oh that's neat. yeah there's um there's two magicians, uh, Penn and mm -hmm. Teller, the one, the guy who oh, doesn't yeah, speak. Oh yeah, yes. And someone was just telling me the other day that they really love their show, where um, they have uh, magicians come on and try to trick them. Um, oh yes, Penn and Teller fool us. Yes. You should do that. I'd sometime. love to. Yeah, actually, um, a, a, f a magician that I met at the uh, Magic Festival, he is planning on going on Penn and Teller fool us, and awesome. he actually gave me the trick that he's using. Uh, uh -huh. For fool us, and it is really great. Oh, neat! But I'd love to go on there definitely yeah. and and give mm. it a shot. Show me what kind yeah. of thing you would do. All you right, let's in see. Front of them. Um, all right, we'll start. Let's see. We'll start small because this, honestly, this is the one that's this is the killer right here. Okay. So this probably wouldn't be one that I would do technically on the show, mm -hmm. but uh, this is one that I would start with. Okay. Oh, I need to make, take notes, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Get the notepad ready. All right, so we're going to give the cards a few shuffles. Uh, oh, nice. Let's see. You've done that a few times. Quite a few. Oh, look at that. We'll get a little fancy with this here. That's pretty neat. Oh, yeah, and there we go. And that's what go. we call, that's how you start that. a 52 card pickup. <laughs> right there. No, all right, we're good, we're good. Okay. So we can get a better spring going on. There we go. Oh, neat. Got to get kind of fancy. Let's try this. Try a fan. Wait a minute. That was right in front of my face, and I didn't see what you did. That's <laughs> pretty neat. <laughs> right here, if we watch real, uh, real close. Here, we're going to have you uh, select any card out that you like. Go okay. Take a look at it. Mm -hmm. Make my note. <laughs> yes, make your note. I'll turn away. I'll look this away. Well, you make your note. Okay. No, seriously, I will because I'll. That's <laughs> <laughs> total moron if I don't. Okay. All right, we good. Good, yeah. All right, cool, cool. All right, so we're gonna take the card. Uh -huh. We're going to uh, go ahead and lose it. That about is so center. smooth the way you do that. Thank you very much. That's what we call misspent youth. Now, <laughs> <laughs> plenty of time to practice. All right. Wow. Now there's something amazing about uh, your card, which I mean that that's not that's not it, right? No. Uh, you can see how easily it can come right up to the top. Yeah. See, it's it's pretty magical. And like that is that. it. It's right there. Now watch if you see it go directly that's, into the middle. Yeah. I'm gonna do this slowly. You can see it pop, just like that. Right what the, the heck? Pack, as if by magic. And I'll show you. You can see that there really is no other jack of hearts. That is so weird. That is so weird. I'm going to try and freak you out a little bit more. I want you to watch the jack very, very closely. Uh -huh. Okay, watch it very closely because you might see the moment that the magic happens. I'm going to push that in there. I want you to push it in the rest of the way for me. Uh-huh. <gasps> I believe that is the car. Oh, my goodness. That is That's so me. neat. <laughs> you see, what's crazy is that uh, that Jack of Hearts really never existed at all. That, I, I, <laughs> I speechless. That's a great say. reaction. That's a great reaction. I that love is it. really, really neat. And you can see, right in front of my face, and I could not tell how you did any of that. Good, I, I did it correctly then. <laughs> That's incredible. Thank you very much. Wow, way. That's just a few simple card tricks, a few simple moves here. I am so impressed. Let's see if we can get this one going. Oh, here, we call this the worm. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Right there. Yeah, that's just a few things that I can do with uh, a deck of cards there. A few things. Just that's, a few things. That's awesome. Very do people few. still high five because oh, yeah. that was Heck really, yeah. really. Or we fist bump? Yes. Yes. That was really <laughs> neat. Thank you very much. <gasps> I'm going to be wondering all night how you did that. Ball, yes. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. Oh, God. Hey, okay, what else do you, what else do you have? Let me pick my stuff Let's up. see. All right. I'm um, excited. I dropped my things. Cool. Well, 
You know, actually, I will do this. This trick here was invented by uh, J. Scott Berry, the man who put on the uh, Sacramento Magic Festival. Okay, uh-huh. And yes, this was one of his inventions called the ring and ribbon. Amazing effect. Now, we've all wanted to do the impossible. I mean, you've wanted to do the impossible before, right? Like, right. Like walk through a wall or fly, sure. you know, something crazy like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into that world of the impossible. Now, mm -hmm. I'd like to show you, this is going to represent the unknown mm -hmm. and the solid gold den ring <laughs> <laughs> den. <laughs> yeah. is will represent the solid world that we live in. So I'd like yes. you to check both those out and make mm -hmm. sure that those are indeed solid. There's no breaks, no, uh, right. no wires, no hidden assistance in there Nothing. or anything like that. All right, yeah. cool. So we're going to take and give you a bit of a glimpse into the world of the impossible. Now if we look for just a moment, we might see uh -huh. something truly incredible. That was through right the ribbon. Through. Now you see, if the impossible really was uh, possible, then everything that we know about the world around us would change. It would completely slip away. Very cool. You see, unfortunately, now Pretty that smooth. the world... <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that was very smooth. Oh, thank you yeah. very much. Now, the world that we live in now, we've got a pretty good knowledge about, uh, about that world. Mm -hmm. So when we see something that, is, that tests our knowledge, we're forced to come up with a logical explanation. Now, logic would give us two ways to get this <sighs> ring back on, one and two. But if we truly believe in the impossible, that gives us a beautiful oh, third nice. option. That was good. But all this is just an idea because we're locked into a world of science and skepticism. Uh -huh. But if we could break away for Very just nice. a moment, that'd be true magic. And that's what I'd like you to experience here. You're going to yeah. do this yourself. Uh, really? Yes. You've got the magic. I don't trust myself. All you have to do is believe in the impossible. And you can see that that's actually going through there. That's not yeah. an optical illusion or anything. Okay, so I'd like you to hold both your hands out flat for me. All right, we're going to take and place the ring and the ribbon there, squeeze nice and tight. I'm going to place the ribbon there and squeeze tight. Mm -hmm. I just want you to truly believe in the impossible and pull. And you can experience true magic. That. Check it out. Make sure it's solid. <laughs> How'd I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's, it's magic. That's really neat. It's truly You did known. magic in my hands. You did the magic. I like that. That Thank doesn't you. happen very often. I mean, besides pulling a card from a deck or exactly, something. Exactly, yeah. That was really fun. It's something a little, yeah, something a little different. I like that. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very you. much. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, yeah. so this is what this is what that guy um, Yeah, this is one of his creations. This is one of his go-to effects and now one of my go-to effects. Yeah. After I met him, he uh, I got I saw one of his lectures and this was one of the things that he had and it's How long did it take amazing. you to learn that? I'd say about a week to two weeks to mm -hmm. get it down smoothly. Nice and smooth, yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. neat. But I it's liked it. yeah, it's a fun trick. I call it my back pocket trick because it's always in the back pocket. Ah, yes. nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's very yeah. cool. Ooh, wait, wait, what else do you have? Well, let's see. Um, actually, what I have next, I can really go into a story about, which okay. is really funny. Um, sort of some of the uh, instances where magic goes wrong, or oh. magic goes really wrong. Now, this actually happened in um, one of the local banks. I'm not joking. This actually is a 100% true story. Okay. And um, uh, so we're going to uh, do some kind of crazy here. This got me kicked out of the bank. <laughs> so watch. We got one, two, three, four, five dollars. Uh-huh. Now, what I needed was I needed a 20. Now, 20 really wasn't enough. So I figured uh, maybe something a little more spendable would help. Well, no way. I'm sure that's something everybody would love to do. So now I had 5, <laughs> 10, 15, 20, and 25, leaving an extra 5 for me so I could get my 20. But she didn't want to give me my money because yeah. she just saw a magic trick. She freaked out. No, yeah. that can't happen. You can't do that. That's a bank. So I was like, all right, maybe that's counterfeiting. So here, I'll turn it right back into one, oh. two, three, four, five dollars. That's magic. That's... But you see, that's when magic I goes wrong. <laughs> I can't figure that out. That's a good thing. 
But here, the, um, but when magic yes. goes truly right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see this. We experience what the mind can do. You're so blowing me away. Go Thank ahead. Thank you. That's awesome. I'm glad. <laughs> so we got a fork here. I'd like yeah. you to put your initials anywhere on that fork. Mm. Anywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere you like. Okay. And really examine the fork and make mm -hmm. sure it's real. Make yes, sure there's no, uh, uh, not gimmicked in any way, no trap doors, no wires. Nope. All right, make sure your uh, uh, initials aren't going to rub off of there. Okay. You don't want me to try to rub Oh, yeah, it, yeah, go for it. Make sure that they're not going to oh, rub off. Oh, no, they're on there. Yeah, yeah. just so you know, I'm not going to switch anything. Okay. All right, so we'll kind of recap what just happened. <laughs> recap. <laughs> All right, there darling. we go. <laughs> Terrible joke. Terrible joke. Okay. <laughs> So here, what we're going to do with this fork is we're going to hypnotize it. That's where the magic happens. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. So both me and you, we're going to focus right here. I want you to focus mm -hmm. really, really hard. Sleep. And now it's Neat. hypnotized. You see, I think I'm crazy too. You're not alone. But here, watch here. If I add a little energy, you might see something kind of strange happen. You see, it actually begins to bend oh. itself all using just the power of the mind. Now you can do it too. I'd like you to give it a shot. Hold out one of your fingers for me. Okay. Place like, it right here. Yeah. And just very gently rub. Just imagine it bending. How are you doing that? How are you doing that? It's magic. It's practically in half. That's... And you get to bend even more. But here, let's straighten it back out. Straighten it back out. Check it out for me. Make sure it's still real. Yes. That's a solid, solid fork. fork. Can you guys hear that? Now That's here, I want solid. you to really imagine, really, really imagine you can get it to bend. <laughs> See it melt right before your very eyes. But like I said, you're the one who you're the one who can actually get it to bend. So uh, hold out your hand again for okay. me. All right, we're going to straighten this out. I'm going to place this into your hand. Go ahead, close your hand around the fork, and take and pinch here with the other hand. I want you to spin it around inside of your hand until you feel something kind of strange. You might feel like a heat or uh, you might feel the fork distort in some way. It's not going to hurt, but it may feel it, a bit uncomfortable. I don't know if I feel it. Am I doing it right? It might be subtle. Do you feel something a bit strange? Feel the fork. <gasps> um. Check it out. Make sure that's not rubber or plastic. Make sure that is a solid, actually, metal fork. Wait a minute. It won't even bend back the other no. way. No, so you're going to have to show me how to do that. I've, <laughs> I, I don't know how you'd... Well, dang. That's... Well, if you can get it to go that far, you can definitely get it to go a, li a little bit differently. Here, imagine you can get it to bend a little differently. Here, just imagine. imagine. <gasps> and one time bends Oh, like that's so. awesome. Oh, but here. poop. Oh. We're almost out of time. Almost out of time? All right, here. Almost out of time... Time, ha ha, pun <laughs> there. All right, we'll get one last bend. <laughs> right there, there's the fork. Oh, that's awesome. That's yours to take home. That no is a way. souvenir. Yes, Thank you can you. keep that. Yeah, that's You're incredible. Welcome. Thank I, you very much. I wish we had you for another half hour. That's right. Come back sometime. Definitely, I would love to. Good thank you for having me on the show. everything that you do. I think you're awesome. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time on Tammy's Window on Calaveras. Oh.